So you find out that where you end is also where you start again. So it goes. This is a, a plot where, which involves like porn stars and science fiction authors and being abducted to an alien planet while also talking about the horrors of World War II. Much like another book that was published in the 1950s, Catcher in the Rye, Slaughterhouse-Five is really the pinnacle of post-traumatic stress disorder, before that was even a term. This is about that generation who were forced to go off into war and commit the most horrible of atrocities and how you mentally deal with that fact when you come on home. This is a vlog. Hello friends, today I want to talk to you about Slaughterhouse-Five. The novel truly is a pilgrim's progress. Billy Pilgrim is the main character who is unstuck in time and experiences all these life events all out of sequence. I've not seen the movie that was based on the novel, although by most accounts people have told me that it is not that good, it does not capture the spirit of the book. You'll have to be the judge of that because I've never seen it, but if you have seen it, let me know down in the comments below. But lest you think this is a stuffy old English book that just has lots of themes that you have to write stupid papers on, I do want to let you know that Vonnegut does have this really wry sense of humor that is just fun to read, and when you get the jokes, they're even better, and you laugh, and you think you are the smartest person in the world, when really, he's just spun a really good story. If you don't have a passing familiarity with Kurt Vonnegut, you really should. I would check out most of his novels, because they're just so good and informative and entrancing, and I think him, along with George Orwell, sometimes are put on this higher level where it's like the themes they were talking about were so grand but everyone misses the fact that the prose is just so good and so I'm gonna use the word awesome because I can't think of another word to use in this case. I came to Slaughterhouse Five actually much later on in my life and I loved it. I have read it a few times now and each time it's like oh there's another little bit that I can apply to my life and oh here's another thing that I didn't recognize the first time. It's something that you can enjoy it again and again because you grab new things every time you read through it. Also down in the comments let me know if you like the book at all. Now Salinger decided to crouch that narrative into this story about a teenage boy trying to come to grips with the death or suicide of his brother whereas what Vonnegut decides to do is he treats it with this gentleman who really did go off to war and his mind has just become completely scattered and he doesn't know what is real, what is happening, and what point of his life he's actually living at. I don't want to ruin too much of the plot because some of the magic of Slaughterhouse-Five is just having the entire story kind of wash over top of you. That takes us to the end of Vita Week 3. I have one more week of these videos. I know you're trembling in anticipation. My name is Kyle. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all again on Monday. So you find out that where you end is also where you start again. So it goes.